All right, so this is our second uh, video, and this is our edible slime um, recipe. Uh, I will have to tell you, the first time I did this, I did not grease any of my pans uh, and my dishes that I put in the microwave with the marshmallows and the candy, and it was a horrible, horrible, horrible sticky mess. So I have uh, greased everything with the canola oil that you are supposed to use. You can use vegetable oil. I think that specialty oils like olive oil, obviously avocado oil, sunflower oil, all gonna have a taste to them that you don't want to put in your mix. I'm talking really fast because the marshmallows melted in a minute. Um, you may need a little bit longer. I am actually just doing a half a recipe because I'm really not gonna be eating this slime. So after you melt your marshmallows, takes a minute, use a spatula or a utensil to transfer that into a pan that has been greased. Uh, it is hot, so be very careful. This is not something that uh, the kids should do right away. So let's see how that works. Let's see if we can get a little more grease on there, more oil into that. Then we want our candy. And this melted 30 seconds at a time in the microwave. I'm actually gonna stick it in for 30 more seconds. It is a little hard right now. So the beauty of the candy and the marshmallows is you can stick them back into stick them back into the microwave and soften them up for 10 more seconds. Um, Really hopeful that we can make something here that's not a sticky mess because it was a sticky mess earlier. So we're melting the marshmallows, we're melting the candy, and we are putting them together in a well-greased pan. And we're going to fold those together. It's still sticking to the pan. That was greased. So sugar is much, much, much stickier than we might even think. Look at this. Great color though. Love the orange color. All right, so those go in this pan and we're gonna work them together with the spatulas. What we're gonna do now though, if you look at your recipe, the big spoon is the teaspoon and we're gonna put a teaspoon of oil on top of this mixture to help us fold it in. We are not using our hands right now because it's hot from the microwave. So no hands just yet, all right? We are also gonna add, um, boy, I'm gonna use a half a teaspoon since I'm cutting my recipe in half. You're using a teaspoon of vanilla on top of that oil. And I'm keeping my oil at the ready in case I need some more, okay? Um, and we're going to try and mix this together. Now it is sticking to the pan a little bit, but not quite as bad as it was the last time I did this when I had nothing greased. Grease your pans, grease your spatulas. Um, you might wanna, you know, oil your fingers before you start to touch this. It is coming together. It's making a lovely orange color here. Um, it is taking a little bit of time. You're going to want to give it a little bit of time. You need to keep working it so that it doesn't stiffen up on you. You can, as I said, always drop it back in the microwave for a few minutes. I see a little bit of candy getting really hard there. Um, but hopefully that heat that is in the center is going to help with that. Um, I'm not putting my hands in this just yet. I may put a little more oil on top uh, and try and oil my spatulas a little more because I am just not convinced that I want to have a handful of goopy mess. Um, so I put a little more oil on. It's not going to hurt anything to ha make it, you know, easier for you to use. I'm going to move this before I break it. Um, just... You know, it's trial and error right now because we're both kind of learning how to do this. Unless you've done it before, and if you have, that is so cool. Um, this is awful shiny, but guess what? We are gonna put another ingredient in. The last ingredient that we're adding here 
is going to be our powdered sugar. Now our powdered sugar, we're gonna add a little bit at a time. What we want to try and do is get this to a texture and a non-stickiness that we can actually pick up and touch because it's slime, right? We'll see if we get there. <laughs> I'm a little nervous about the whole thing. All right, so a little bit of powdered sugar on the top. We're still using our spatulas to fold. Um, again, you can touch it and see if it's if it's warm. Uh, that's great. Make sure you go all through it with your finger so that you know that it's not going to burn any little hands before you pass it off to one of them. This is going to be a very sticky, messy treat. Let me just say, even with incorporating the powdered sugar in it, I don't think that it's any less sticky. But that's slime, right? So here we go. We're going to put some more in and we're going to mix a little bit more. And a little bit more and of course it is sticking to the bottom of my dish and I might add just a little bit more oil in it again this is not a healthy snack uh, for Halloween it is a, a very messy sticky treat you can make this any color I would say you could probably take any candy the consistency of candy corn so a soft candy not chocolate but a soft candy and create this kind of lovely textural mess for your children to play with. Um, yeah, we're still super sticky. We're at a little bit more of our powdered sugar. I do not know that I'm going to attempt to pick this up until the end. Um, but <laughs> we're going to keep having some fun here. Um, you know, this is something you could turn out on a piece of uh, wax paper or parchment paper. I think it might stick to the parchment paper. It's probably going to stick to anything. It is so, so, so sticky. Um, so, you know, kind of add a little more oil. Put in a little bit more powdered sugar. We've got a great orange color. So that's something. This obviously isn't going to keep. The first slime that we made, the eyeball slime, that slime that you could keep in a bag until it just totally dries out. You can take it out and play with it for days. This you're going to want to make and then serve, I believe. You should just eat it. Have lots of um, wipes, hand wipes uh, at the ready, and uh, soap and uh, warm water. Because uh, it's no less sticky, is it? <laughs> No, it is not, Miss Catherine. It is super, super sticky. Now, my dish is not hot, so I'm going to kind of work it around a little bit more. I'm going to try and add the rest of my powdered sugar. It says to just put in a little bit at a time. Um, stir it thoroughly. I have not gotten it to the point where I feel like I could handle it. Um, and I don't know that it's going to be something that you would be able to handle and your hands would come away clean at any point. So, um, this is our slime. This is, this is it. And I would just mix it up all thoroughly. One of the things that I, um, a little bit more here. It moves like slime. It acts like slime. But you can eat it. So cool. We'll try a bit in just a sec. Uh. And uh, one of the things that I found at the store, I don't think I'm going to add any more oil to it. So I'm going to cap that up so I don't spill it because I'm good at that. Uh, were these really cool cupcake sprinkles. And so I'm going to just get this to a consistency where you could take it out of this pan and eat it. Um, <laughs> were you game enough to? I mean, you could put a piece of wax paper in front of a child, and I am going to touch it. So it is very sticky. I do not want to pick it up with my hands fully. Um, I do kind of want to get some sugar in here, though. So pull it up and maybe put a little sugar on the bottom and incorporate that sugar in. You know, the demo that I watched online, she actually did pick this up. 
I believe. And she used her hands to mix it. She was a brave woman. After the last incident, <laughs> my attempt, my last attempt, I'm not that brave. Um, no. Yeah, I mean, it is, it is rather sticky still. But it's cooler now. We've been working for about 10 minutes with it. So I would say anywhere 10 minutes and beyond, it would be okay to pick up and touch. And, you know, I'm, I'm going all through the slime right now. You know, and it's it's fine. So you could even portion it out and give it to the kids with a little bit of the powdered sugar uh, on a plate or um, in a bowl, and they could play with it and eat it. You know, that's the good news about this. The deeper you go into it, the stickier it is. So anyway, so here I am getting it all over myself. I've got some wipes handy here. I'm gonna clean up my fingers just a little bit because I want to add some of these sprinkles that I found, which I think is gonna make it even more fun. Um, you know, this is kind of a learn as you go project for us since we're doing this for the first time together. Uh, it is super, super sticky. I'm gonna say that over and over again, uh, but I am gonna pour I can get some of those some black and purple bats in there Let's see if we can get them to kind of show up um, but that is basically that sticky tutorial now those of you that bake uh, and have maybe worked with candy or uh, something like that if you have any other suggestions and comments uh would you just leave them in the uh facebook uh feed give us some comments tell us what you think about the recipes i really enjoyed the first slime i am going to take a little bite of this and let you know how it tastes hmm i got a little bat oh it's not bad it tastes very, I mean, it's just like a candy corn. Little marshmallowy. Really good. Uh, parents and caregivers, just know this is messy. <laughs> and it's good, messy fun. You know, uh, I, I'm going to actually take another bite. Because it's really good. All right, guys. I know mine looks like a mess. I think if you put it on a piece of wax paper or parchment paper, Make sure that you're adding your powdered sugar to try and give it a little bit um, of a um, non-sticky surface to touch. But the deeper you get into it, the more that powdered sugar is incorporated into this slime, the stickier it's gonna be. It's just sticky. So, I'm gonna put a few more baths on top of there for you. And that is our edible Halloween slime. Uh, you guys, I hope you had a great time. This was lots of fun. It's super sticky though. So, um, I don't know if it'll keep. I have a feeling it won't. So, make it at a time when you really wanna eat it. And I hope that you enjoy. I hope yours looks a little neater than mine. <laughs> but hey, maybe we'll cook again sometime. It'll be a lot of fun. You guys have a happy Halloween. I've had a blast doing these tutorials and we'll do some more. Uh, take care guys, I'll see you another time. Bye.